Hello YouTube! I have been, you know, absent again for a long period of time. So a couple of things have actually happened since last time, because usually what I say is I don't have anything to talk about because nothing happens in my life. Something did happen. I broke my foot. Yup. See if I can show you. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wear that for a total of six weeks. It's been two... almost three, I think. I I've completely lost track. I barely even know which day it is. What happened was I was at work and I was delivering groceries to store because that's what I do. So I was unpacking everything from the car onto a cage. I was up on the loading dock and this is a very low loading dock. It's like half a meter high. Uh, but when I needed to put something that weighs about 15 kilos up onto a little thing on top of the cage. It got really difficult to like reach up there because I'm not very strong. So I'd jump up onto the dock and be able to throw that up and when I went to jump down again there was this little hole in the ground and I had slipped right on the same spot earlier so I knew it wasn't good, it was like icy and not nice. I jumped down, landed on the edge and basically my foot tipped that way so if this is the back of my foot it went like that and I felt that way. So, basically, I just crashed into the ground and I heard a uh, really just, like, snap. At first, I just assumed, like, you know, I heard it very loudly. I just figured, you know, it's something that happened in my body and it, like, resonates and I figured I heard it more than it was. The worst part was, I had two more boxes left in the car, which I needed to get onto the cage. And the store, they're sort of, they're kind of awkward at this store. So I decided to like unpack the car first and then ring the doorbell to get them out and come and get all the things. Which meant I had to jump back up onto uh, the dock with my injured foot and uh, ring the doorbell and get him out there and tell him that I'm sorry, I fell, hurt my foot. Could you maybe grab those two boxes by yourself? <laughs> he was very polite. Uh, he asked if I was fine. I said, yeah, yeah, sure. It's not, no, no for a problem. I can, I can manage. I had two more deliveries and I thought, should I do those two deliveries first, or should I just go straight back to work? I opted to go straight to work, which turned out to be a good thing. Tip, don't drive with a broken foot, it hurts, and people get pissed because you can't do this you know, general motion with your foot, which means you cannot push the pedal very hard, and um, you know people get annoyed when you drive like 30 kilometers an hour, when it's supposed to be like 80. It was a Saturday, there was only five of us working, Two people were out driving far off, and then there was me driving the close things, and then two people left at the company. So there's one person working in the storage area, packing up orders and making everything ready, uh, and then one person manning the phones. I come back with two orders still in the car, and uh, not really being able to do anything. So when my aunt met me, I was sort of like trying not to break down, and I was limping, and so she came out and she's like, what's wrong, Did something happened, and she hugged me. And that's the worst thing you can possibly do, because she comes out and it's very nice and she hugs me and I break down crying and I can hardly even explain what's happened. So basically we put my foot up high and she got a bag of snow and put it on my foot and called my mum. So my mum came pick me up and we went to the emergency room. About two hours later they came and told me that the x-rays had shown that my foot was indeed broken and I needed to have surgery. They drove me up into bed, put me in a bed in the orthopaedic department and... Uh, I got my own room, it's very lovely, very nice, and my mum went home and got a bunch of stuff. I had my laptop so I was fine, I was just lying around there in the bed, being very frustrated with the fact that I had to keep my leg high and that I had to wear a cast on it until the operation. I also have two uh, like marker arrows drawn on my leg, because I drew an arrow on my leg, and then they put the cast on and it showed it covered the arrow, so they had to do another one, and it's marker, so... I haven't like scrubbed very hard at it, but it's still like faintly there, even though it's been weeks. The reasons that the market errors were there because you cannot trust surgeons to understand which leg is injured. You need to make sure that you mark it very, very clearly so that they don't cut up the wrong side of you. I have learned that I am a terrible patient. I get very bitter at the world and at people in general. Uh, mostly I was pissed because I was supposed to go to Stockholm that day and watch Frozen. It was the day after it had premiered here and I've been waiting to see it for like two months already. And uh, yeah, with a broken ankle, I was not allowed to go. One of my lovely friends contacted the movie theatre and uh, since I had prepaid for the tickets, uh, I got three free tickets sent to me instead since we couldn't attend that one. And uh, that was very lovely of her. I would personally just have been like, 
we couldn't go, is it possible to force the kids' man money back? And they would have said, we don't know, and that I wouldn't have gotten any further. <laughs> so I was just very bitter the entire time, and uh, I wasn't allowed to eat that whole day. I had had one sandwich at nine, and they were like, oh, that's great, because we're going to try and get you into surgery today, and you can't eat before. Of course I didn't get in surgery that day because it was snowy and bad weather and, you know, emergencies happened. I got in surgery the next morning. They took me down at around 7. So I was talking with the anesthesiologist. Uh, he said, I'm not really sure if they're going to put you under or just like local anesthetic. And I was like, dear lord, if you're going to cut me open, put me under. And they did. I've never been afraid of being sedated like that. I know that that's something that people get worried about when it comes to surgery. I am more worried about, you know, the cutting up and doing stuff inside of my body part than I am about the the being unconscious part. What I've been worried about is the sort of like... I've always figured that I wake up with like a hangover and feel dizzy and nauseous and just bad. Um, I didn't. I remember being in the operating room and I remember waking up in recovery. And like really... Like it was two minutes. I remember just waking up and being like, what? Okay, turn over to the other side and like go back to sleep. I got to go home on Monday, the day after my operation. And that day I felt truly, truly terrible. My aunt was the one that came to pick me up because it was the middle of the day and my mum was working and my dad was away. About half an hour before she came, I started feeling sort of tired and dizzy, a little bit nauseous. Uh, by the time she came to get me, I was getting worse. I was thankfully in a wheelchair to take me downstairs and out of the car and I was so terrible. We had to stop by the pharmacy to pick up some medicine because uh, I'd been prescribed stuff like blood thinners because they'd operated on my leg and there was a risk for blood clots. So I needed to take a shot every single day. I took my last one three days and I was just feeling completely terrible and I came home and I went to sleep and I just felt awful. But since then I have been fine, there have been no, I mean, people say get well and I'm like, yeah, well it will heal. I'm not actually like sick, I can do things, I just can't like walk very well. Everything becomes just very bothersome, like getting from my room to the kitchen to get a sandwich. Every time I have to walk back and forth, like from the fridge to the counter to the toaster to where we keep the bread and to put things back where they're supposed to be and trying to carry stuff while walking on crutches is just very complicated. It's gotten a lot better. Uh, I can put a little bit of weight on it. So I started walking a lot without my crutches. I also become an expert at jumping on one leg. There's still like, what, three or four weeks left of walking around with this. And then there's two more weeks after that uh, before I get back to work because there will be some time after this is gone before I can actually properly walk. So I'm gonna try and talk a little bit more. I mean, there are things that happen in my life. There has to be more than the fact that I'm running out of TV shows to watch. So that is what's going on in my life currently. Bye.